What's good, Aries? Happy harvest season. So we're about to get into these, what is this? Uh, autumn equinox readings, the fall season readings. See um, what it is that, you know, what messages spirit has for you over these next three, three to four months, you know? So um, yeah, before I get into that, so it's been a while since I've really shared anything here on YouTube. Um, so I have some new things happening over, you can join me over on Patreon, where I am sharing weekly readings there, doing bi-weekly Q&As on the first tier, um, which is called The Read. I will also leave a description leave the link in the description box below so you can find it on the second tier. I am now a certified hypnotherapist. So I offer um, two to three hypnosis throughout the month. And then in the third tier, we have a lot of conjure going on, a book read that we have going on right now. We are still reading, cutting through spiritual materialism. We also have, um, <clears throat> we recently had a uh, autumn equinox seven day retreat, which was really amazing. Um, and yeah, it was great for the women who were present and for me as well. You know, you put things together and don't know how much they're gonna bless you in the same that they do others. Okay, so yes, I think that is it. We have this Libra new moon coming up and you can join us for the gathering on the 8th of this week. You can purchase a ritual guide, a the toolkit with everything in there, or you can um, purchase the work to be done. This particular conjure is fair play. So this is about legal matters, it's about justice, it's about fairness and balance and harmony and peace within your home, your relationships within yourself as well. Cultivating beauty through all of these things within your life and your world and manifestations that you really deeply desire, but that um, really align to your sense of self, right? Um, and, and what that needs to look like for you to be able to really prosper within your relationships, okay? so. Oh, yes, we are going to go ahead and get up into the motions and start pulling these cards. I'm seeing what it is the season has for you. So, if you're new here, thank you for joining me. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel, put on your notification bell so that you can know when I post new videos. And if you've been here, thank you for returning. Thank you for watching this. Let me know in the comments how this is supporting you how you're feeling about this energy and everything that is going on. And please be sure that you like the video as well, okay? Now, you may also hear some background noises. I have a kid, have a child, he's four. So if, if that's a bother for you, it's all right. Thank you for being here for now and I'll see you maybe next time, all right? So yes, let's get started. Let's see. We're gonna roll some dice. We're gonna pull some cards for these dice. And then we're going to pull individual cards for um, sun, moon, and rising, just to check in with that, see where you are. Cause I know that, um, you know, Aries energy, it, it can it can vary how it expresses itself, whether it's through sun, moon, and rising. Okay, so. Spirit. What messages do you have for Aries for this autumn season? What would you like for them to know? This time? Okay. So you have Venus and Sagittarius in the fifth house. So this can be speaking about a lot about your, your values, your self-worth. Um, this could even be talking about your relationships, your partnerships, people that you build and that you work with, um, people that you commune with as well, especially when it comes to like higher beliefs um, in, in the path it is that you're on and how it is that you're going about creating this and being very passionate about that. 
right? Making sure that these are things that you're doing um, that make you feel really good, that bring you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness and fulfillment, make you feel right, um, make you feel like that you are in a, sa in a safe space, but also tapped into a space of um, your innocence, right? Being very true to you and aligned with your purpose as well. That is pretty much what your focus is for this um, for this this fall month, okay? And you are definitely going to be focusing on ways, further ways that you can be in your own personal sovereignty to free yourself to align fully to your own personal values. Uh, that what it is that you're doing, who you're connecting with, that they recognize your self worth, and that. But that first comes with you seeing it for yourself as well, right? Maybe you have some travel happening too. Um, there may be even maybe something in regards to your children as well. Maybe you're traveling with your children. Maybe it's just a family trip <laughs> in general, you know, with uh, your close relationships. Those who live at home from you, if this could be at a distance um, in in getting more having more fun this fall it seems um it's almost like this summer energy for you is expressing itself now maybe i don't remember what your reading was for the summertime i have to go back and look at it but um it's a lot of focus on on who it is that you are within your relationships how you're showing up in that and being fair being that balanced being just having a very um loving disposition toward others make it but you know you also want to be sure that you're taking time to uh pay attention that you are holding discernment and making the right decisions for yourself when it comes to all of this okay so let's see you may be also feeling very um, compelled to express yourself very authentically To You may just be expressing yourself authentically, expressing your truth, focusing on the truth, you know, sharing that with others, socializing um, from a very, from a heart space with those who you love, who love you, you know, and, and really making it do what it's do <laughs> all right so the first card that came out under venus is soul family so this is a lot about people who you resonate with this is calling your tribe you don't have to do it alone so this also has to uh speaks a lot about building you know creating um beauty in your world and and having that that being reflected from you as well through the people who it is that you connect with this is also a lot about um seeing more so the depth of a thing, right? So this is um, being able to see things, all the workings of things with the people who it is that you connect with, people helping you and supporting you in doing this as well. Um, this could also be speaking about uh, you connecting with some new people this season as well again um it may be women too because a lot of feminine energy was facing me as the moon here right so connecting with women who it is that you can build with who it's like a, a very telepathic psychic connection it is that you have going on here you know and really being able to uh see the light uh, embrace the light as well and underneath sagittarius we have coming out here trust the nibble all right, so with it says, what is the nickel feeling trying to tell you? So what is it? What is the truth? Right. You are being um, your intuition is leading you towards the truth It's showing you what it is. You know, it's all living within you, whatever it is that you cannot see. You have people here to support you and you may be changing, shifting the way in which it is that you go about expressing yourself, how it is that you go about connecting with enjoying life. Right. Also, even um, connecting with your children as well have dance here do something to shift your vibration right very focused on lightening up the energy making it more loving if it already isn't you know really um coming out of a gray area as well 
right? Because this, this trust the niggle here is in between two cards that are full of pink, full of radiance, full of, of, of love and, and beauty as well, you know, in, in connection, in connection with others, in connection with the self. Okay, so whatever it is that whatever truth it is that you're looking for outside of you, it's already within you. You already know where this is, what this is, what it looks like, how you're going to go about connecting with that further. Okay, so what else do we have for spirit? Or Aries. What other messages do we have for Aries at this time? This could also be speaking a lot about how it is that you're showing up and expressing yourself and making sure that it is that you're being truly honest about what your needs and your desires are within your relationships, whether that is of friendship, um, work, uh, relationship, love relationship, needing to um, shift whatever it is there may be a need to change how it is that you have been expressing yourself how honest it is that you have been what truths need to come out what needs to be revealed what needs to come out of the darkness what does the light need to reveal here right the sun is goes into scorpio during the fall right so the light is shown on everything that's hidden in that underworld in those shadows right so if we look at this from um first middle and end of a fall it's like the first half the first uh quadrant we're connecting with our soul family the second is like we were going within and reflecting this scorpio energy comes forth and it's um getting us really in tune with our intuition and then we go into sagittarius season right and, and we begin to shift our energy we begin to flow with that mutable energy of sagittarius and sagittarius is here right what we're going within and in and, and recognizing what is nudging us is the truth what is it on our path that we should be doing right and how is it that we have been going about doing it so let's see what else do we have for spirit Okay, so that's interesting. So the first card came out is the Hierophant. So this is about, again, um, there is a lot of wisdom that's being birthed here. Perhaps there is, um, perhaps you are teaching people maybe, or perhaps you are learning something through someone and through that you are, whether it's the being the teacher or, um, or the or being student, you are connecting with your soul tribe here, but recognizing your worth and your value. Um, also, this has a lot to do with your possessions, right, as well, and what it is that you have, what it is that you desire to see for your life, what kind of traditions it is that you want to uphold, too, and the people around you reflect that. They are that, right? If you want to see if, if you don't think you're on the right path, check who it is that you're connecting with and that will show you what is that. There may also be some changes happening in regards to, um, to traditions, um, to how the structure of how things have been going up until this point, all right, so that you can more so align to you, to your intuition, connecting with your um, intuitive spark, connecting to your gifts as well, and what it is that has been given to you through what it is that you have experienced in life uh, up until this point. Now, there here we have three of knives, and this is so this is again about the truth. This is on top of trust and nickel. All right, so what is it that, um, what have you learned? right? There's something, there's an awakening happening here. You are being enlightened to reality of you, right? And, and what is true for you in the path it is that you are on. It's like, what has the happenings that you've experienced in your world and your life? What have the happenings that you have, the disappointments it is that you've experienced, the heartbreaks, the aches, the, the everything that didn't go right kind of thing? What did that teach you? What is that showing you? Where is that carrying you now? Where are you moving forward to, to now be free 
be in your sovereignty, be true to yourself at this point, right? And we have two of coins here. So under this fifth house with dance, it's, you know, you switching the vibration, um, getting out of this space of always feeling like you have to juggle things, that there is no balance, that you can't um, work things in a way that that is uh, effortless, right? Granted, everything takes work, but work doesn't have to be so consuming to the point where it's exhausting, right? So perhaps you are um, finding a very strong grounding and balance in a way that is going to allow you to um, exalt in what it is that you're do doing. You have the capability of doing it all here. It's all in a matter of how you go, how you're going about doing that. Okay, so let's see what's going on in Aries relationships this fall what messages does Aries have for the fall hmm. first quarter second quarter third yeah <laughs> Okay, so in the first quarter, we have solidarity. Again, the soul family energy, you got a lot of people here supporting you, you are supporting others, all right? And these people reflect, again, who it is that you are, what is true to you, what you value, what you find worthy of giving your energy to and spending your time on, all right? You, it's like you feel like you've come to a space of grounding in the sense that what your your desires are here they're being met right um and this is through this has to do with others with your relationship and connection with others right and so in the second quadrant we have my best self right so focusing again on the truth of who it is that you are listening to what it is that your intuition is telling you about you getting out of this cognitive dissonance of what it is that you um what you believe and what what you want to do how you can go about doing that you know and, and removing these delays from your life removing these blockages these ways that you have been stifled um based out of not being able to make a decision or just trusting in making your decision best based off of past experiences based on the past happenings right so you are connecting with your best self you're going you're going there you're going there you're seeing the truth of who it is that you are you're seeing things clearly as well very clearly again you are awakening to you things that have been hidden are no more right this is scorpio season here and in the third quadrant quadrant we have no scorekeeping uh so with this coming out after this, this whole three of knives energy, this is kind of speaking to me of, um, of you needing to let go of, it, it's about cutting past conflicts, right? Shifting your vibration and how it is that you express your love, knowing that it's okay, that it's safe for you to love as well. It's, it's safe for you to connect with the people it is that you're connecting with, that you're creating with, that you're working with, right? Um, perhaps maybe there may be something returning from the past. Um, Mercury is in retrograde during this fall season and it is giving you an opportunity to wipe the slate clean as well, you know, shifting your vibration. Maybe there is something that you've realized about yourself that you wanna shift in how it is that you show up, um, how you connect with people as well. It could be about a lot about your aggression or your, um, how it is that you express yourself, right? Um, has it has it been truthful? Have you been fully open? And if not, it's, it's time for that. It's, you're ready for that, okay? So let's see, what else do we have here? So first, we have savor here. So just really enjoying this first quadrant of, of fall, like really embracing and 
experiencing a lot of, of joy. Again, this summertime energy is really hitting for you in this fall energy. And like our, our seasonal expressions are a little bit off due to 2020 of how we spent so much time in like a state of winter, right? So um, things are, are, are a little bit they're expressing themselves differently in different timing, regardless of what the outside is reflecting, right? So um, really enjoying this connecting with others, really enjoying coming into these new changes, seeing yourself clearly, seeing yourself differently in a much more higher uh, space as well. And um, enjoying being able to connect with people who reflect that, having this solidarity, the support it is that you need to really be you, okay? And then, yeah, you're going to be doing a lot of planning um, in regards to this, this, this nudge, this shift that's happening, right? This, this awakening it is that's happening to you the sense of enlightenment that is going it's moving forward for you to be able to really express yourself in a way that is healthy for you right so um your something about your health may also be shifting in that third quarter in that Sagittarius season um and it, it could have been it in your head <laughs> all this time kind of thing because um, the two of coins is like being of two minds it's mars and capricorn right and capricorn is a very logical energy although it's earth it's logical and it's mars so this can mars and capricorn is exalted it, it, it can it, it can take care of everything it does it does its thing right so um this is like you coming into that highest expression of that, especially after connecting with your best self. And you may just be acting upon your plans as well, going on the path down, forward down your plans it is that you have been making, like very much into it, forward movement, um, communication and connection and doing this in a way that's not tied to any old past hurt. You know, you're freeing yourself, getting you free yourself from like any type of frenemies, any type of um, people who do not have your best interests at heart, people who um, are, are, are not really healthy for how it is that who you are, how you express yourself, right? So um, what's okay for another person may not be okay for the other. Right. And that's simply because we're all operating. We all have our own personal expressions. It is that we're holding and operating in. So that has a lot to do with that. And then we have the second house here in the third quarter. So um, with that, some of us may be moving. Right. This is uh, we're trying to figure out. We may be figuring out um, where we're going in November, in, in November, December energy, you know, and, and how we're going to go about that. You may also really be um, bringing in a lot of money, <laughs> a lot of money through what it is that we've created. And it is uh, allowing us to really show up in a way that, um, again, that's free from any type of, of conflicts, okay? This plate is clean. This can also speak about soulmate connections as well. Um, people who you can, who can help you when your hands are full too, right? And then showing up and being able to, su to support you in what it is that you're doing and how it is that you are going about doing that. All right, so let's pull some cards so we're gonna see what's here for sun, moon, and rising of Aries. Spirit, what messages for sun, moon, and rising of Aries? Rising. Sun, moon, rising. All right. So for my sun signs, you are very you. You just working. You focus on mastering yourself. All right. You're focusing on you, and and that's it. Really, you know, connecting with people, of course, but um, focusing on. You have gotten yourself out of a space of um, always having to question where it's going to come from next. And you don't, it's like, you don't want to let that go. 
right? So you are now focusing on doing what it is that needs to be done so that you can continue doing it, so that you can continue bringing in and keeping your reality set in a way in which it has been. You are you are focused on your legacy and building on that, right? And, and keeping it constant and consistent. You know what it is that you want. You know how it is that you're going to go about doing it and you're doing that, right? So moon, you have seven of baskets here. So with the seven of baskets coming out, this can be a few things. You may have a lot of ideas it is that you are desiring to carry out. This is an invitation for you to get very grounded within yourself so that you can um, do these things in a very methodical and efficient kind of way. This can also speak about recognizing um, there may be some relationships that it's just time for you to let go of because they are not going to give you what it is that you're trying to gain out of them. All right, whatever it is that that may be, there may be some deception, some manipulation going on here. It may be something that's just not healthy for you, something that's just very toxic for you that keeps your head in the clouds. It could be um, one of those relationships where you, you are being told one thing, but never receive what it is that you're actually wanting from it, right? So that's something to consider there. Um, but then you can also pay attention to how it is that this is being reflected outside of you. That doesn't, me saying that doesn't mean for you to stay and try to change yourself so this relationship can change, but more so recognize the lessons it is that you're learning from this, right? Because this is, something is being revealed here to you as well in your relationships, in your emotional nature, even um, of how it is that you kind of keep yourself caught up in idealism and not realism, right? Um, it, it's a, it's important for you to get grounded during this time, during fall, so that you can uh, continue moving forward in what you're creating, what you're building, right? And what you're manifesting for your world. This is also you coming to a completion point within relationships, within your emotional nature in ways that have been keeping you in a very caustic headspace, right? So that you can feel very comfortable and grounded within yourself. Um, so that you can align to what is true for you, right? And then for Aries rising, we have Aunt Carolyn. So Aries rising, the, the wheel is turning in your favor, all right? There may be something in regards to fame. You may be seen, being seen, being recognized, whether this is in work, whether this is within your connections. Um, you may also be coming into some realization of what it is that you actually want to do, how you want to go about living as well. You could also um, just be ending old cycles and starting something new so that you can move on, all right, from what it is that you're doing so that you can begin to grow and, and um, venture off on the path it is that you are desiring, that you're wanting to venture off on. Okay, what else is here, spirits? What else do we have here? Yes, that's all this, that's here. So we are also going to pull and I'll close out with a couple of Two cards, two of cards. What would you like to close out for Aries with this harvest season spirit? Aries. Aries. Okay. So Aries, be focused on the warm. <laughs> Go where it is warm, maybe travel somewhere warm. This fall, um, get you some sun when you can, when you're feeling down, when you're feeling blue, all right? When the past is coming up to creep up and all the things you thought you let go of become to arise and connect to the warmth within yourself. It says a new voyage will fill your life with untold memory. So this also speaks a lot about knowing that life is changing for you in a very smooth way as well. And here we have Amber. So connect with this, your sensuality as well with your senses. All right, tap in. Um, and that's how you're going to be able to strongly connect with your intuition because that is your intuition. When all of your senses are aligned, when, when it feels right, right? When you feel aligned within what you see, what you're hearing, what you're smelling, what you're tasting, what you're touching, right? Connecting with all of these senses, even what you're hearing. I don't know if I said that, what you're 
thinking. Although thought is not a sense, clear cognizance is a um, an attuned uh, type of way of, of sensing things. All right, so it's a sense today. <laughs> okay, so yes, focus on your warmth. Know that life is definitely changing. You are building new memories with the people around you who support you, who love you. All right, recognize where it's time to let go and embrace what where it's time to embrace, you know. So let's see. What else do we have here, Spirit for Aries? What's the last message for Aries? Oof. Three cards try to fly out. Yes. Oh, got some money coming through this month. I mean, this season, Aries, this is the fish, okay? So make sure that you're tapping into your gifts, right? Because that is where you're going to be able to strongly connect and, and see that, that intuitive sense, going within and diving deep and, and seeing what's there, what, what's blocking, what's hidden, um, embrace it, right? Just, no, oh, it's me, let's go. Let's go with it. Um, how do I integrate this, right? Whatever it is that you've already been investing into, it's about to pay off this season. You're about to receive some return in a, a financial way with this, okay? Um, yeah, it's time and you're ready to be on this journey to have what is yours, to do things in a new way, to indulge in what feels good to you, all right? Gaining this sense of clarity, know that you're ready for this. You've been ready for this forever okay <laughs> it's just forever okay so yeah what else do we have here yeah be be confident in yourself share your voice share your light um share your love embrace all of that as well and i hope that you have a wonderful fall uh let me know how this serves you and yes i'll see y'all next in the winter time. <laughs> Bye, y'all.